welcome to our next video it's another scorching hot day today 98 degrees fahrenheit isn't it, it is. sunday today so we're so glad we're not at the parks today we tend to avoid the parks like the plague don't we, we do. at the weekend, the weekend yeah. so we're using today as a business day aren't we yep so we need some sort of trunk inside the cable for the front doorbell so we've come to lowe's and just this is a section but there's a massive choice so we've got to work out the right the best stuff for us and they do a kit as well look but it's out that we need six of these in total so they're 7 98 each or they've got a bulk offer on if you buy five or more you get a 7 18 each i've just noticed that's the almond color though so i don't know if the white of the bulk offer will be size offer law wouldn't it yeah so we have, law. we have to see when we get to the till never been into a Lowe's before it's basically like a Wix I say like Home Depot is like B&Q and Lowe's is more like a Wix this one upgrades adding up into it then with all the bits you've got to buy yeah. to do it tools and all that we'll let you know exactly how much this upgrade's costing us after we left here yeah yeah it's a little bit more than the uh, <laughs> first planned but it'll be worth it okay we've got six of them cord hiders so we've got a long drill bit to get through the wall for the doorbell, some roll plugs and screws to fasten the trunk into the wall, connectors for the wiring. And that was a grand total of $83.23. Yeah, that trunking's not cheap. <laughs> so this is our old cooker. So tomorrow our brand new cooker is coming and our new microwave. We've got a delivery slot from best buy between seven and seven so i'm hoping tomorrow we get another email from them with like a shorter time slot yeah. like a three hour window and i hope they come in the morning so then we've got the rest of the day to do something haven't we? yeah that'd be nice so best buy are installing our new oven for free because we've had to pay for the power cord and the maintenance team are fitting our brand new microwave on Tuesday yep. at 9am. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so I've got to be honest, we've had a bit of a lazy day today, haven't we? We have, yeah. I'm only filming me because Matt's just in his boxers because it's going to get changed into his swimming stuff. So we're going to go down to the pool, aren't we? Yeah, yeah, before, before it starts thundering. Yeah, the clouds, the storm clouds are coming over. So we're yeah. going to get down to the pool now. Um, I'm above the bar getting in. No. <laughs> No. Sometimes it's too much hassle than what it's worth. Well, just, just for a little bit. I only got in for 10 minutes yesterday because yeah. the, as soon as I was in, the thunderstorm started. Yeah. So I had to jump out again. So, so yeah, honestly, we've had a bit of a lazy day today. We've been Sunday. Um, well, you, we were ready for a... We've done a lot of walking and our legs and feet were worn out, weren't they? So uh, we were ready for a little bit of a break. Yeah, so. we, we needed a proper rest day today. Because we've got another two weeks yet yeah, and we don't, we don't want to burn ourselves out. So. Yeah. Yeah. So we're going to nip down to the pool for a bit and then later on we need to tidy up, yeah. ready for Best Buy coming tomorrow and then the maintenance team come in the morning after because we've just got stuff everywhere of what we've bought. There's just like Disney bags <laughs> yeah. everywhere, outlet Universal bags. Yeah. bags, like you've just said, outlet bags everywhere, just stuff we've bought. So we need to tidy up. So what I did buy from Walmart, I'm going to try is this pirate water. Well, actually, you spotted it. Yeah. It's Sex on the Beach. That's why Matt bought it me. Because I love, that's my favourite cocktail. cocktail. It's 10% alcohol. I think it costs $3. And it says a pint. You say it costs $3? About that, yeah. $3. So, so yeah, 10% alcohol, a pint. So, I want to just try it now to see what I think to it. If not, I'm not. Like, if, if I don't like it, you'll love it. Yeah. That was nice. That's a good time. <gasps> <laughs> oh, oh, that is nice. Oh, right, okay. Well done. So that was actually from, oh. there's a liquor store attached to Walmart, because inside the shop itself, they don't sell individual cans. So I went to the fridges in the, in the liquor store, and that's where you can get cans. So I had a Mountain Dew, hard Mountain Dew, mm. and that tasted, they had a tropical one, there was like a little bit like Malibu that was really nice, but it's an energy drink. And they also did one 
uh, there was orange flavour that I really liked. So they were three dollars fifty, but they were pint and a half cans and five percent alcohol. This pirate water was there other flavours of cocktail? Was it just this Sex on the Beach? I think they had another flavour as well. Um, I'm struggling to remember what it was called at the moment, but we'll have a look next time we go. You try it. Oh god, that is gorgeous. Am I with peach? I'm just feeling that at the top of your head. I prefer my, um, so I've got whiskey at the moment. I prefer my whiskey, but yeah, still really nice. That is perfect for you, but I'm not a dead cocktail anyway, am I? But, no, you're not. Yeah. No, you like your spirits. Yeah. And like a mixer. Yeah. I hate, so you, you drink whiskey and Coke, like you yeah. love whiskey and Coke yeah. or something. I can't stand it. Yeah. I only drink spirits if it's in a cocktail. Yeah, I like whiskey, Coke, Amaretto and Coke. Like I can't, I hate like vodka and Coke. Yeah. Can't stand it, but Put vodka in a cocktail, love it. Or Red Bull. Mm. Matt's got the pool in the hot water himself. This lizard just made me jump. I thought, this, I, thought I saw something scrolling along beneath my feet. <laughs> Matt, this is what happened to us yesterday. Hey. The clouds are rolling in. Oh yeah, they thundering. Literally, we came down here last night, or yesterday evening, and the exact same thing happened. The clouds rolling in, just a clap of thunder, weren't they? And then it was just thundering, wasn't it? Yeah. Rest at night. Do you know what I just want to say with this drink? Dead man down, mm. no tails! <laughs> yeah, but it's Caribbean. Yeah, man. <laughs> okay, so we've just been chilling on the settee, haven't we? Yeah, uh, yep. After tied it up. So, yeah, I says, I says to you, um, do we have to remove the old oven ready for them installing the new one? So, you looked at your emails, didn't you? But so, I said, didn't I? I've not read anywhere, like, on the main email that it says you have to remove your old appliance. No. So then you said you, sh you showed me that you'd had some form sent to you to prepare. So basically it's more yeah. So yeah, I, I read a couple of documents that were linked and then one of them. You read them whilst so I had yeah. a shower. So I'm not on camera by the way, so just wave. Yeah, so one of them, you write down at the bottom says, we are not responsible for disconnection or removal of the old appliance. Even if they remove it, taking away the stove, the, the stove. Even if they're taking away the old appliance, they're still not going to remove it for you. So luckily we've read that today rather than scrambling in the morning. So we're going to remove it now. So Matt's took out the drawer, drawer underneath. Because they have a storage drawer under and most ovens. I thought, I thought, oh my God, it's going to be like a horror scene underneath. But actually it was very clean, wasn't it? Yeah, it wasn't, yeah. Because we pay for a um, deep clean. Annual deep clean. Annual deep yeah. clean every year. Yeah, so then that includes like wiping out all the cupboards, taking everything out, giving it a proper. It's meant to be clean. everywhere, so isn't it? It looks like they've actually done under yeah. the drawer as well. Yeah, I was very, very pleasantly surprised yeah. that it had actually been cleaned. And these aren't actually fan ovens, so they're not actually sucking in air either. So another reason it's perhaps clean. So yeah, so I came out of the shower after you read the small print, and you was like, "Lol, we need to clean the oven out." <laughs> So, and we'd just use the oven, so we had to wait for it to cool yeah. down. Yeah, so we, we've already had our tea. Um, so yeah, we had to wait. It's 10 to 9 now, so right. it's not too late. No, because if it's but too late, tough. It's, <laughs> tough. it's better than doing it. It's better than doing it at 6 o'clock tomorrow morning, isn't it? Yeah, but it shouldn't be a noisy job to no, remove. No, so. no. It's barely making a noise. Very good. I think I'm making more noise than the uh, oven. So we're going to put this in front of our laundry door, aren't we? Yes, we are. Around the corner, out of the way. Okay, not ideal, but it's going to give it there for one day. Yeah, these American ovens are actually really good because the whole bottom is a massive drawer to put all your stuff in. And it comes right out, so you can actually get underneath and clean underneath the cooker. Whereas obviously our cook is back in the UK, you can't do that. So it's just a much better design for an oven, isn't it? They're not fun ovens, so they don't quite cook the same. So the next clip is gonna be in the morning when we've got a new oven. And you're gonna get up before <laughs> seven o'clock. Um <laughs> It was so funny, it was literally howling early, wasn't it? Because I said to you, I said, you're going to have to get up before seven o'clock. And you said, why me? And I was like, Matt, if I've got to get up, I've got to get ready, 
put my makeup on, sort my hair out. It'll take me an hour to get ready. Whereas you... It took me an hour off. No. <laughs> you put your clothes on, takes 10 seconds, done. You can be out of there. Fair enough. Me? No. I've got to get ready first. So you're going to be the one that's going to be up for seven. Yep. <laughs> Probably won't show up to 11 though. <laughs> Probably not. Yeah. No one out of luck. Our cooker and microwave have arrived and have been installed. And it has absolutely transformed our kitchen. Look at that. What a difference to what we had before. I don't think I ever explained why we bought a new microwave. It was because our old microwave, it had rust at the back, along the bottom. So it says we'd replace it as well as the cook at the same time. Oh my God. Can't tell you how much this has transformed the kitchen. It's made it look even more modern. I was super, super happy with our cooker and our new microwave. And then next year, we're gonna be replacing our fridge freezer there's absolutely nothing wrong with it in a minute so we're not going to fork out for one now but we'll replace it next year to match our cooker and microwave and also we'll be leaving our dishwasher because this is actually only a couple of years old this is right we end this video here I want to say thank you so much for watching and we will see you in the next video bye bye